Okay, this is a quick demo of how to use Amplitube from IK Multimedia with Logic Pro. Um, it's relatively simple, but it's not something I knew about until fairly recently. So this is my Logic setup. I've just put a drum track in here using Easy Drummer, uh, just so I've got something to play along to. So I'm going to click this plus here, and I'm going to set up a new audio with an input. Um, so I'm going to create that. I'm going to set that just to pan normally. Um, I've also got plugged in my iRig Duo recording device just so I can plug a guitar into the computer. Um, you've probably got a different way of doing that yourself, so any input will work with this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go across to Audio FX, we're going to go down to Audio Units and go to IK Multimedia. Uh, here there's a load of things that came with my iRig Stomp I.O., uh, but what I want is Amplitude 4, which is up here, so you must have this installed on your computer first. I'm using an Apple Mac uh, because I'm using Logic, uh, and then we're just going to go into Mono, and then what you get is you get the window pop-up. Uh, just here, so you can see the interface is very similar uh, to if you just use it normally. So I'm just gonna turn on the feedback so you can hear it hopefully. So that's just it clean. Um, and then you can load up some of your presets. So if I just go for British Collection and Brit 100 and I'm gonna go for the crunch. Um, you've also got things on here so you can change all of these settings if you want to, if you want to be a bit more bassy. Um, you can also go to the cab if you want to do that uh, and move those microphones around so you can go for a small combo. Uh, you've also got your stomp boxes so I haven't got any in there at the moment so I'm just going to click that uh, and I'm going to go for a just a delay. So. So you can obviously configure those however you want. Uh, so I'm just going to hit record and record something. So then we've recorded that. I'm going to just mute the drum track because it's not very helpful. Uh, so if I go back to this and I just hit play, Now if I decide I wanted a bit more distortion, I can do that and I can just add pedals in uh, post-production. Now let's say I didn't want this head, I can change this. You can change all of these kind of post-production, which is really useful. Um, and if you have a, a kind of thing set up that you really like, you can also save that channel strip here. So I'm going to go save as, uh, I'm just going to call this rock. So then if I was to remove this plugin, and I was to start again, I could go here, I could go audio units, I could go IK Multimedia, go to Amplitude at the top, go to there, and then once again it loads, I can say actually I want to uh, go back to my rock one. And there's everything I had loaded up, so nice and easy. That's just a quick tutorial of using Amplitude uh, with Logic. A great way of recording your sounds uh, and being able to mess around with them later on.